but he's also a professional footballer now. And his daughter is a, a guitarist singer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's quite a bit of music. And Mickey Gallagher's oh, really? two sons are both in the music business. Yeah. Well. One's, a, one's a bass player and one's a guitarist songwriter. Yeah. So yeah. Lovely. And you have her fought in uh, bringing them uh, in the band on this for uh, one time? <laughs> no, no. What was that reaction? <laughs> no. Mick, Mick did it once. He got involved with his son's um, purely um, kind of on a management side, didn't he? And he said it was a nightmare having to deal with his own sons, you know. But he does, his, his son um, Luke does play bass with Mickey's other band, the Lockheads. That's right, he does. He stands in for a normal one. Yeah, yeah. Mick plays in, in a band called the Blockheads as well. Uh, do, do, have you heard of Ian Dewey and the Blockheads? It was a British band. It was a, it was a British band that um, they did hit me with your rhythm stick and sex and drugs and rock and roll. Some, you know, some great song. Uh, Mick was in that band for 20 odd years and uh, his son was a nice bass for him now. You know. uh, the old school um, still rocks the house. <laughs> so rocks the house. Oh yes. <laughs> I've never lost um, lost from my love for what inspired me in the first place. You know that was dance and blues and rock and roll. You know, I still listen to them now, even, even now, 50 years later. <laughs> but um, nowadays it's uh, really a strategy to reinvent all the music. I believe uh, you observed that. A strategy. Yeah. It's yeah. a real strategy. I think they make covers and um, play a little with the old school music genre. I think the collaboration play from Robert Plant and, and uh, oh, Alison Krauss yeah. is fantastic, and that's reinvented a lot of old sort of country blues songs produced by T-Bone Burnett. I think that's a really helpful yeah, I, I don't think it does any harm to go and revisit stuff. Um, you, you know, with the passage of time, you you begin to realise what was really, really great and what what's worth going back to and, uh, and uh, you know, digging around with it. But um, I think that happens in every generation, you know. Mm -hmm. Since you have um, almost or more than 50 years of experience, uh, how do you um, see music in um, another 50 years from now? <laughs> I won't care. What's the direction, <laughs> in your opinion? No idea. I don't think there'll be any uh, physical CDs or anything anymore. I think uh, yeah. everything will be a downloaded product. You know, you have a, it's already happening, isn't it? CDs, yeah, it's already happening. You know? so, it's good term. There is something still very special about having a CD and having the information on it, or the, the vinyl. And vinyl's making a big comeback too, in, especially in the UK. Mm -hmm. My daughter's boyfriend's band just released a vinyl album. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's very popular. The, um, the, the changes uh, technically in, in my life um, are just fantastic. Uh, and so it's very difficult to predict what, what another 50 years will produce. I mean, what, you know, when I first bought records, my, when I was you know, 12, 13 years old, it was um, a, a 78 RPM shellac disc. 10 inches across, and you played it on a wind-up gramophone, you know, ding ding, and, uh, and, that, and now I carry thousands of songs on, on my iPod, you know, so that's just in, in my time, so God knows what's going to be like in 50 years time. <laughs> Maybe the concerts will be just online? Possibly. You may never know. I think know. you'll have hologram concerts. Yeah. I think you'll have hologram discs where you'll be able to take part in, and walk around inside the... Yeah, that's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah. science fiction. We science fact. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks a lot. If you have a message for Romanian fans. Well, it's nice to be here in, in Romania. It's nice to be here in Bucharest, and uh, hopefully um, we might be touring in the country later this year uh, in the autumn. So we'll get to see the rest of the. the country and looking forward to that and uh, so it's it's just nice to be here everybody's been very friendly and um, hospitable. Pleasure to, pleasure to come and visit. <laughs>